Feathers are actually a very simple structure. There's a central strengthening rod known as the shaft, and on either side are the veins or the feathery bits. Yet when we look at the shapes of the feathery bit on one side of the feather versus the other side of the feather, with a little bit of study, we can instantly tell whether it's a uh, primary, meaning the outer part of the wing, secondary, the central portion, or whether it's a tail feather. Just the ratio of width, narrowing, so it's actually quite easy to learn by looking at the morphology where a feather comes from on the bird. Now it takes a lot more time before you can tell which bird the feather came from. If a bird goes through an airplane engine, usually there's a thunk noise, and it goes through so incredibly fast, often no blood is left behind. But because an airplane engine has lots of grease, some of the fluff, some of the down, gets trapped in the grease so that you can wipe out the engine later and find some of this fluff and uh, using microscope techniques determine which bird went through the engine. It's that magic structure that a bird has that we don't. They can fly and we can't. So. I think we're predisposed to like feathers because it's a symbol of freedom and of flying.